Luna know me very well. Poetry is not my thing, so that, that this is what is so shocking. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm gonna read it because maybe it's the only time I've had this 10 minutes of pain. <laughs> so here it goes. Um, page 10, if you want to follow. On the side, I left my vault is the title. And here it goes. After I broke up with my first serious boyfriend, I moved back to my mother's house. Estelita lives on the Sera Avenue, not the street. Otherwise, the GPAs will take you somewhere else. I told her not to worry about preparing food for me, that I usually would eat my three meals around work. I never knew what I would encounter when I arrived at her place after work. Prepare me? Making holes in the floors, big sink while I was working fine. Securing the electric water pump, nobody had tried to steal. Church ladies, mm. more interesting her pitch to uh, talking about God, praying for her health after she would pay 10% of her retirement check. One night, after the first five days, I arrived at her home at seven. She was not there, I was thirsty, but I couldn't find a single glass in the kitchen cabinets or plates, cups, not even a single fork or spoon. I look inside the oven, no pots or skillets in there. I search around the house and went outside and there they were, all of them, including the blender jar and the pressure cooking pot dripping leftover stew. Somehow, a strange balanced structure of dirty dishes, pots, cups and utensils was created inside the laundry sink. Every morning and every night the kitchen sink looked clean. I had no idea. She had only put every day the thing in the backyard. It should be a funny sight, but it scared me. With trembling hands I put on an apron, I started to wash them using the laundry sink. She came back home from church wearing her usual denim dress. Do I help you? She looked at me with a childlike smile. I shook my head. How could she help me? She couldn't help herself. The next morning we drank coffee and ate toasted bread reading El Diario Libre, like an old couple. I told her not to make dinner. That all come home with chicken and spinach stuffed bread. Before going to work, I washed the breakfast dishes while she sang in La Arena y Dejado Mi Barca. On the sun I have left my boat. Next to you, I will look for another sea. You need my hands, my turn is the other's rest. Love that wants to continue loving. Lord, you have looked me in the eye, smiling. You have said my name. I had to leave because she was leaving already. I wonder if people in Stockholm have to deal with situations like this one, knowing that even if you are in a place with someone, you're still alone. The next day I met Luz, the cleaning lady that came once a week. She said every Sunday morning she found the dishes in the backyard, but she thought my mother was only getting old. She did not know her like me. Mommy was the goddess of bleach and soap, the one who told me how to recognize a scammer. My sister and I took her to the doctor, and with two words he explains everything, meaning stroke. Fortunately, my two aunts said they would take care of our mother. We helped her move to their house where we knew she was going to be safe and surrounded by people. Today, after several mini strokes, my mom needs the help of her nurse 24 hours a day. The last time I talked to her on the phone, her tongue struggled to make up words. I talked for her. I asked her not to reply. I hung up, ran to the bathroom to wipe the tears out of my face, noticing a new wrinkle. My son wanted to use the toilet. I went out, planted dozens of kisses on his neck. Mommy, please, I am not your boyfriend. <laughs> he rightfully protested. Then I let him go.